Uh, one of the first things I like to do is install the power control. Uh, let me just show you how to install it for those of you who don't know. Um, go down to power control. And you can turn on your Wi Fi, turn on your Bluetooth, uh, GPS, sync. Uh, what I usually do is when I go to sleep, I turn off the sync, I turn off the GPS, I turn off Bluetooth, I even turn off uh, Wi Fi. And uh, that way it saves so much more battery. It's, you know, doing that before going to sleep. And then when I wake up, I can sync it. Um, that's, you know, saving more battery. So do that. That was just a quick blurb there. And uh, this is the MIG G 2.45, the latest version. Um, it comes with ad free um, ES File Explorer, Explorer. Uh, Netflix is working, uh, ACMI mirroring is not working. If you want ACMI mirroring, you'll want to go with a uh, Sinogen 7 mod or Evo Deck, uh, one of the two, or any Sinogen based ROMs will have ACMI mirroring enabled. Um, other than that, this is probably a very good, uh, probably the best Evo 4G ROM for your daily driver. Um, let me show you what version is. it is. It's running on Android um, 2.3.3, uh, 651.1 kernels. And uh, um, that's pretty much it. And uh, go download Titanium Backup and restore your apps that you saved, hopefully, before you install the ROM. And uh, I think that's the best ROM out there right now uh, for a daily driver. So go try it out. Let me know what you think. And uh, we'll have more cool videos. And thanks for subscribing. You guys rock. And so it rebooted. Um, so this is the Mic G ROM. And uh, it's going to ask me to uh, sign into Google. So let me do that real quick. I will be back. Hi right, folks, so when that's done, hit power and power again to reboot system now. And uh, if you get some weird thing like that, uh, don't worry about it, I think. <laughs> Actually, that's the first time that ever happened to me. Um, but it's going to reboot. Uh, the first time it boots, it might take a while, so I'll be back uh, after this. It shouldn't take longer than like two minutes, though. Hi, old folks, this is Maximum HCC Evo Hacks.com. So, people have been asking me what is a really great Evo 4G ROM, and I would have to say um, if you want pretty much everything and you don't really care about the fastest, fastest ROM, then I would say MIG G ROM is really good. So, let me just walk you through on how to install it. Um, you'll want to reboot into recovery. You can either um, take the battery out and hold down the volume down and the power button or actually that is the simplest way um, yeah let's just do that let's just uh, take the battery out and do it well you can just turn it off too but if it doesn't work then you can take the battery out it should be fine anyway let's go install a new ROM go download the MIG G file download I have below in my blog post or YouTube video and download or volume down and the power key and for those of you who know how to do this you can skip all this uh, where I'll have the review of the latest MIG G ROM sort of um, so we come to recovery or bootloader go down to recovery and hit the power button and uh, you might have a revolutionary clockwork or uh, this Amon RA clockwork. They're all this, all very similar. Just try to follow along. The menus are pretty much identical. Some some are a little bit different. Um, anyway, go download that uh, the ROM file, uh, MIG G ROM file, and copy it over to the SD card of your phone, or download it straight on your phone. That's fine too but it's going to be under folder download later when we go try to find the uh, ROM file and you can go here and back up and restore um, to back up your current ROM I highly recommend you do that first if you've never backed up anything and also um, go use titanium backup so you can restore all your apps in uh, instantly instead of installing it manually 
and uh, we're gonna go wipe all right after you do all those things and hit the power button and wipe all user data factory reset hit the power button and then hit the power button again and it should be similar on the revolutionary uh, don't freak out because you don't get the green menus it's same thing on the blue menus return and flash zip from SD card choose it from SD card power button um, and then we're going to install the latest version of MIG-G, which is MIG-G version 2.45 um, that signs it. This is the ROM file you should have copied over. It might be under uh, download directory also if you download it straight on your phone. So go find that ROM file, uh, hit the power button, hit the power button again. And it's going to take like five minutes to install. And when it comes back, um, you simply reboot and you'll have the MIG-G ROM. And also, uh, I have a video on how to back up and restore titanium. So after this, you want to install titanium backup again and uh, restore all your apps. So I'll be back.